Alright, so we got Spider-Man in the play feature area, so all you have to do is attach him to the web and then he hooks into there. The uh, piece will hold him in until you want to, there's an action lever right behind it. All you have to do is push it. Doesn't really, doesn't really work unless you put enough force behind it and enough slack. So it's not really that hot of a play feature. I appreciate the attempt to kind of simulate Spidey swinging, but yeah, this play feature really doesn't work unless you have it perfectly set up and then this water tower acts like a wind up so you just twist it until you wind it up and that's how that play feature works Alright, and then starting from the top of the building this time, looking at th this part of the building, uh, you have the water tower which you just use to wind up and wind down the web. Um, it's a nice water tower build, build but I, I don't like how these are so far gappy. I understand why, it's so the play feature can work. And then this is just the actuator for the web launching play feature and then let's go down a floor to and then so this represents a uh, part of Peter Parker's bedroom uh, here you just have his bed with a slice of pizza on the bottom and you have a trap door which the actuator is on the outside of the building here right by the fire escape and that just leads down into the next room or if he's in the bottom room he can come up to this room it's really it's really however you want to play with that particular play feature which is nice and then the bottom floor has a couple of boxes which the top one has a sticker that says Pete stuff which is nice uh, you have a you have the Chitari egg right back there from Spider-Man Homecoming along with a basic jar you have a nice build of a microscope there uh, printed keyboard the computer is a sticker and then down here is a nice a uh, stickered piece which just basically shows him trying to sketch out his homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming which just adds more salt into the wound of us not getting that particular version of him which sucks but that is a nice reference along with the Chitari egg bomb from Homecoming and then, then and the bottom floor is the pizzeria which which uh and then there's a sticker right here which represents uh him tracking down criminals it's kind of hard to see because it's right up against the wall there but it's just him doing his normal spidey thing and then I completely forgot to show you this but there's a uh, another one right up there right by his bed which also is about him trying to take down criminals along with a a on a test he got and then that top part of that sticker is really nice. It's uh, referencing the fact that Cap is a the part of Cap that is a propaganda 
from his propaganda days, which is nice. And then here is the uh, top of the Sanctum Sanctorum. I forgot to show you that earlier. It's really nice. You can see the uh, the inside of the iconic window. You have two bookshelves on either side. One of which has it bookshelves and um, a skull, and the other one is has a couple of goblets and more books. You have a couple of stickers representing a stack of letters here, and then you have a desk which has a single candle on it, along with another book, which is, I think is the book he gets when he's trying to help Thor find Odin, which is also a nice reference. And down on the bottom floor here we have a pizzeria. We have a nice oven here which you can actually use along with an ore to represent uh, you taking, being able to take it out. Uh, what's here is just a shaving part of, for meat which is cooking <coughs> <coughs> excuse me to represent the shawarma from the first Avengers movie uh, down here we have a cash register with a nice pie which is a printed piece on the wall here we have a fire extinguisher and then way back there Right here we have a menu, which is very difficult to see, but you have you have a pizza slice, a thing of shawarma, and then some type of salad, which is a nice sticker. And that will do it for the inside of the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. So looking at the box for this massive set, it, it's a very nice box. Definitely suits the $100 price point. You got all the Lego Marvel superheroes up top with a new brick design behind it. You got Avengers Infinity War with Thanos in the corner. You got the specs for the set right there. You got a minifigure. Shows all the minifigures down here. And then you got a nice action product shot of the set. Then on the top you have nice minifigure selection with with the iron spider suit showing the uh, actual size reference and then the back of the box shows all the things you can do with the interior along with some actual play features that have gone over for the set. And then down in the corner there you have a nice legofication of that Thanos promo shot, which is really cool. And you also get it on that side of the box here, which is really nice. And that should do it for the box for the Sanctum, Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. Alright. So the instruction manual for the Sanctum Sanctorum is nice, thick and bound. I love when LEGO does this. Instead of wasting paper printing like booklet 1, booklet 2, booklet 3 and what so forth. Uh, you got it's a pretty straightforward build. You got 213 pieces pages of building and you have uh, the same advertisement found in all the other sets or a couple of the different sets then you have the co-cell showing you which set each of the infinity stones come in and then a nice shot of all the stones in the gauntlet then you have an advertisement for Lego Life with Iron Man advertising it. And the next three pages are just part inventory. Then you get the a pirate for the stereotypical win.
product feedback thing. That's an that's all she wrote for the booklet. Alright, so for the extra pieces for the Sanctum Sanctorum, we got a brick separator, which is always included with these larger sets. We get the sprue that the uh, Infinity Stone is carried on. So you get three extras in case you lose the Time Stone. Then you get an extra an extra ore piece, extra of the um, power burst effects in orange and in blue. You get a gold nano fig extra, you get a few studs, you get extra pieces for the power flingers for Spider Man and Ebony Ma, and you just get pretty basic assortment of extra pieces and along with you get an extra quarter tile of the pizza and yeah pretty self-explanatory okay so final thoughts for this set I think it's a really wonderful set especially for that it's definitely worth that uh, $100 price point. Um, good quality as always for LEGO. Uh, some of the minifigures are pretty lackluster, namely uh, uh, Cull Obsidian and the Iron Spider. And th the build is just so well done. Uh, I there are a few issues with the playability features, which I've already gone over. Um, some design choices I really didn't didn't, didn't gel with me. Um, uh, a lot of the references are like to previous Marvel movies is like top notch. It's like really really it's a really good set. So. Um, so I am going to have to rank this a 8 out of 10. Again, it's a really good set to buy at the $100 price point. It's definitely worth that $100 price point. So, the, so comment, like, subscribe, uh, ring that bell, and I will see you in the next video.